this glass of water that you are having uh, what do you think does water have age how old is the water how can we even talk about water's age it's a non living thing ah uh, yes that's true that's true but even the earth has age like how old it how must have old been it must have been when was the when was this water made and uh, is it the same water that is recycled again and again unless you tell me that it was recently made using hydrogen and oxygen it must have been ages old exactly so exactly so so this water is ages old yeah obviously i mean it's everything which is right. on earth it gets recycled right. again and again it is it is recycled it is so it is possible that uh, the dolphins were swimming in this water at one time for sure and <laughs> quite possible quite possible yeah. and it may have passed through the dinosaurs oh yes possibilities are endless endless so yes. you don't know from where this water that we are having from where it has come in fact this might be a mixture of lots of water from in many places very why not this yes. yeah. because it's not always this water is getting you know distributed right. and uh it breaks into small pieces and then it goes here and there so you right. know even each molecule might be might be from different places but i don't think that affects anything no this in effect no, and it's, it's what you can't even trace that no how can you trace that you we can never trace that we can but for sure it is getting moving everywhere right? it's yeah, been yeah. moving around everywhere so yeah. it might have traveled you know the water might have traveled much more than we have oh, it must have been through all the continents yeah. and all the rivers it travel all of the atmosphere then yeah. come back in the clouds yeah it must have been everywhere correct correct so for sure, sure. that's that's a rather you know when you think of it it's a rather strange kind of a thought to have and uh, it's possible that the molecules that were once together in a cloud will never ever meet again and each will have its own path yes yes for sure so one might be getting precipitated there and then you know some water might be getting getting locked up into glaciers and they are they are right there there's no movement to no it. movement no yes correct very much possible so this is water cycle right Uh, yes yes it this is this is water cycle but that water cycle the typical picture that children are told right. that this is exactly this is how it happens that it moves up and goes to the cloud that's not necessarily true there can be various kinds right. of water cycle cycles and there can be various paths that uh, water molecules take true that i guess they, they just tell you about the natural much which is happening how, how it changes heat. state Yes. yes so they are just telling you how it is. rains yes how it is how it rains and how it changes so but there when you know this when we are telling when this there are also some misconceptions that rise okay which is rather surprising because i have asked this question to many people including those who were you know who are well qualified okay and have come for an interview for to be a teacher that what's the temperature of evaporation of water how can there be but the answer that i usually get is 100 degrees oh <laughs> but the definition of evaporation says when the water you know boils like changes state change at a temperature so much what is the change of state of water yes change of state from water goes from a liquid to liquid. the gaseous state ha huh. so it's at what temperature it can be any temperature it can be any temperature It happens in winter. It happens in winter. It happens in winter. When your temperature is five degrees, then also you have just yes. the rate gets slower. Yes, yes. Correct. So getting slower or faster depends on a number of number of factors. factors. Exactly. Number of factors. Primarily, maybe temperature and humidity. Humidity, wind speed, surface yeah. area. Yes. Many. Yes. yes, wind speed because that is why when you are drying clothes and it's not. drying up and there's a lot of humidity so then we switch on the fan and correct the yes fan. exactly ma'am so that there is a lot of air circulation and whichever whatever you know the um, water vapor that is there near the surface of the cloth that gets carried it, it gets and carried a fresh set of air you know can yes. absorb more water more vapors. can absorb more water vapors. correct yeah so now when uh, uh, this air is absorbing water vapors is water also absorbing something it's to oh you mean yes is water also absorbing something I there are dissolved impurities in water for sure yes right yeah but that does not combine with the molecule that no it does no it molecular it's structure it's doesn't much no, molecular structure of water will remain the same yeah. impurities yes. can be added into the water you know there can be sure sure so that's why we have hard water and soft water and ocean water everything yes and yeah. it's not also good to have very pure water 
The salts that are being dissolved in it are also good for our health. I agree, ma'am. Yes. But then you don't know what is dissolved in it because at some places ground water gets poisoned with arsenic and all those things. Also. Yeah, arsenic and lead because all yeah. the industries pollution and everything. Yes. yes. Correct. Yes. So you that you have to check whenever you are having a glass of water. Yeah. You must make sure what is what is it contains actually. Whether it is just pure water, it's not good to have exactly absolutely pure water. You mean distilled water? Yes. It's yes. not. It's, it's of no use. Which has no use, of course, water has, but then you have to see that the salts that you are usually getting from normal water, Achy. which has a little bit of impurities. Achy, it may serve the purpose deprived, of water. Yes. But then the you might be getting deprived of those sort, essential salts. Okay. So that is something that we have to see. The water that is carried in a spaceship or a space station is recycled over and over again as only a finite amount of water can be carried. So the water that is breathed out or excreted by humans and lab animals like rodents is purified to drinking level purity.